You spin me right round, baby, right round like a record, baby, right round. Time for the next me. Well hello there, how you doing? Hope you're doing okay. And if you're brand new to my channel, I talk about autism, being autistic from my experiences, as well as look at autism memes. So if that sounds interesting to you and you want to see more, then consider hitting that red subscribe button down below, clicking that notification bell so you do not miss out on anything. Now today's autism memes video is slightly different. It's got a bit of a theme to it. Basically, it's all to do with socialness and you know sometimes how autistic people can feel in social situations. So I'm hoping by talking about something really relatable to me that you can get something out of it as well and the first one is this one small talk is not my forte i must be honest with you and actually if you don't know what small talk the literal meaning of small talk is i'll tell you now it is a polite conversation about unimportant or uncontroversial matters i don't mind a bit of chat but to me when it's just about unimportant things like oh did you know it's going to be sunny in like two weeks time or Oh, did you know that this thing happened in the news? I'm just like, I don't know how to react, I must be honest with you. And sometimes when someone's talking to you about something that you personally aren't interested in, I don't know how to react to that. I feel like I need an escape and that's a bit literal, I must be honest, but sometimes I feel like that, I really do. Now for me, small talk is just not my thing because I personally prefer a deep and meaningful conversation. I just love getting to know someone on a deeper level besides, oh, you all right? Yeah, I'm all right, how are you? Oh, I'm all right, I'm not too bad. You know, just, uh, I don't know what it is about small talk that just bothers me. So for me, when it comes to small talk, I feel like Ralph. And like I say, it's not because I don't enjoy the conversation, it's just, I just prefer deep and meaningful conversations. Are you the same? Do you prefer deep and meaningful conversations? Or do you actually enjoy small talk, you know, talking about the unimportant things or just random things that people talk about? Let me know down below. Next meme. Do you know when you have conversations in your head about things that you could have said and things like that, do you feel like you have more conversations in your head than actual conversations because I know I do. <laughs> when it comes to autism and generally having conversations with people, sometimes for me personally, I feel like I need to prep myself for a conversation and sometimes the preparation also includes having a conversation in my own head about how the conversation is going to go or how I would personally like it to go, mainly just so I have an idea of what to do when something changes or someone asks a question that I don't necessarily have an answer for and to be honest I feel like we've all done this where we've had multiple conversations about probably the strangest things. I have the weirdest conversations with myself. I mean I vocalize my own thoughts and my own conversations. I have conversations with myself. I'm not even gonna joke about it. Basically it's a way for me to process what's happening with a certain situation or me to think of what I'm going to do next or what to do. I know I do that quite a lot so I wanted to share that and plus it's really funny because I'm quite a lonely person. I don't really speak to many people outside this room to be honest so yeah. <laughs> next m -m 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 I know a couple of people found that incredibly cringy but I love the horn sound to death but anyway that's not important. This one with Squidward. I feel sometimes in social situations, when it comes to social gatherings and things, I feel kind of awkward. Because for me, when it comes to social events, if there's no one there that I really know, then I don't really know how to spark a conversation up with someone. Like sometimes I'll just be in there and I'm able to do my thing and just talk to people. I feel like Squidward sometimes and I feel like other autistic people out there who are watching this video you might relate and actually not even just autistic people just people in general you know we can all feel like Squidward where we go to a social event of some description and this is a lot going on and sometimes you just don't know how to do the normal social thing of hi Bob you all right yeah Fred I'm good and I find social events kind of overwhelming mainly because of the amount of people that are there and you know I feel like if I start talking then I'm just gonna keep on rambling and rambling because I get quite nervous talking to people publicly even if it's people that I know I really 
get nervous talking to people because I don't want to say something that's stupid or come across as unintelligent or you know I'm not saying autistic people aren't intelligent that's not what I'm saying I just feel from my own perspective that when I talk sometimes I don't come across the way that I think I come across if that makes sense so sometimes I can be Squidward and I'm just like no, get me out, get me out. You spin me right round, baby, right round, like a record, baby, right round, time for the next me. This is literally why I don't leave the house. <laughs> now, I really love Radiohead, like the band Radiohead. Just, they're amazing. I'm not even gonna talk about how amazing they are because I'll just end up waffling for 20 hours, but there you go. That's the meme I wanted to show you. It's just really funny to me because that's how I personally feel a lot of the time in social gatherings, social situations, especially when I'm making an effort, you know, when I'm making an effort trying to be sociable with people. Because for me, I find it hard to be sociable, you know, I have to really be in the mood to do it because I'm just not that kind of person. I'm quite introverted, really. So when I try to be sociable and things don't go my way or I say something a bit weird or something that others weren't expecting. I'm a creep, I'm a bit of a weirdo, I don't really know why the hell I'm here and I don't really belong here. I was trying to be funny, I was trying to, you know, the images from the creep music video which is one of Radiohead's worst songs and you know, I was trying to be funny but it didn't come across that way. I feel a bit of a creep now to be honest. But I think the most important thing for you is really just to try and try to be sociable, you know, and just try your best, you know, because that's all that anyone can expect of you. I know people say that to me quite often because, boy, I try so hard, but just keep on trying. Next meme. And like I say during the course of this video, sometimes I feel a little bit weird and I do things, say things sometimes that just don't really make sense or just make other people laugh or make others feel uncomfortable and sometimes I feel like that when I'm just in a room full of non-autistic people and you know I just can't relate to other people sometimes I feel like that I mean I really want to be the Pikachu's but I feel like the other Pokemon that's not a Pikachu it's a ghost Pokemon but I can't remember the name of it if anyone knows the name of it let us know down below because I've literally forgotten the name of it quite honestly sometimes guys I just feel unrelatable to other people especially when they talk small talk about unimportant things and then when I actually try to make conversations with people sometimes it's just like I get really awkward I feel nervous so I say something really silly and I feel like a bit of a creep and then I just feel like that I genuinely love this meme it's one of my top five favorites that I've ever shown on these videos not just because it's relatable but I feel it is just one of those things that gets talked about in the community quite a lot you know that idea of autistic people going out there into you know conversations with non autistic people and you know not feeling relatable so I feel it's got more significance than just me and me talking about it you know absolutely love that meme and if you want to see more videos like this click that playlist right there or if you want to see the other types of content that i make i recommend that playlist right there and if you want to subscribe to the channel there's an icon for you to click right there hit that like button down below if you have enjoyed this video and just thank you so much for watching stay you stay indie i hope you have a great day and i hope to see you next time